coaster. Get on board on the Great Space Coaster. We'll explore a comet ride and a fantasy to a place where dreams lie fast and free. With new friends and new things to see. We'll spin you through the galaxy on the Great Space Coaster. Oh, oh, oh. on the Great Space Coaster. Off we go. Get on board. Step inside. Well, if it isn't my favorite band of strolling minstrels. I know. <laughs> Some band this is. Every instrument we have is either worn out or broken. Yeah. Oh, gee, for a bunch of musicians, you really look very unstrung. Well, we need help now. No. <laughs> Our music department could use a few contributions. Well, there must be some way I can make a contribution. We need new instruments. <gasps> oh, my, but that costs money. Yeah. We know, we know. Oh. oh, dear, and without instruments, it's practically impossible to make music. That's true. Very astute. Now, this will take a good think. Let me think. comes to Sweet Pickles Bus. Smart moms know how kids' minds grow upon Sweet Pickles. Your child's head start for school starts with his free Sweet Pickles preschool bus. There are stickers, games, puzzles, and hours of fun inside. They'll make learning basic skills like numbers and letters seem like child's play to your two to six-year-old. So they'll love to learn. Honest. I think it's excellent. Sweet Pickles is great. Call this number today, and we'll send you this Sweet Pickles bus filled with dozens of learning activities free. We'll also send your first activity pack on approval for only $3.99 plus delivery. If you like it, you'll get two new packs about every four weeks at the same low price. You can cancel after taking just four shipments. Call now, and we'll send the Sweet Pickles bus to your door. Smart moms know how kids' minds grow. Call now. Hey kids, get ready to have a ball. The stars of Bedrock are ready to rock and roll here on USA. You mean you put us on TV? That's right, Fred. Tune into the USA Cartoon Express for prehistoric laughs. With the Flintstones. He's turning this meeting into a circus. Today at 6, 5 Central. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. When you watch Calliope, there's a whole world to explore. Five potato, six potato, seven potato, eight. Calliope's for kids like you. It's neat, it's cool, it's great. So when you want some fun at home, please turn us on and see. We're here for you to watch and love. We are Calliope. Oh, I like it. Sunday mornings at 7 a.m. on USA. I'm in. Now back to the program. Okay, now, going into our 10th hour of the Great Space Coaster, Mercy for Music Telethon. Oh, and what an event this is. Call in those pledges, friends. Come on, let's go on with the entertainment, hey, baby? And here is another star in our galaxy, the Riddle Gorilla, singing a new song, Bananas over Bananas. Hit it, kid. <laughs> I'm bananas over bananas. Bananas have a lot of appeal. I'm 
bananas, all the bananas, bananas make a very good meal. This morning I ate eight bananas, I ate eight more for lunch. And when it comes around to dinner time, I'll finish off the whole darn bunch. Ask her can a little banana, fill your full of vigor and zeal. You must never can a banana, think of that banana would feel. There is nothing like a banana, nothing so beguiling. When you eat a banana sideways, people think you're smiling. <laughs> I'm bananas over bananas, bananas make me happy, you see. And when I get rich and famous, I'll have my own banana tree. Oh, oh, look, I see Gary Canoe is busy, busy, busy on the phones. Isn't that exciting? Right, Gary? Gary! Gary! What? Oh, right, knock, knock. Right, knock, knock. That's right. Uh, whatever she said. Yeah. Oh, and I see that the Great Space Coaster stage is all ready for our next exciting number. <clears throat> And now, friends, here's the Space Coaster driver, Baxter, to say a few words. What? Oh, 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 oh. I, uh, I uh, thanks, Knock Knock. <laughs> friends, Gary Gnu is manning the phone, and now's your big chance to talk to a really famous No Gnu's personality. Aw, oh, shucks, Bax. That's really nice. <laughs> and now Fran and Roy and Dan and I would like to perform something that's never been performed before. Probably never be performed again. <laughs> anyway, the Baxter Bounce. Ho, oh, oh, ho, we're doing the Baxter. Yeah, yeah, we're getting in here. Ho, oh, oh, ho, we're doing the Baxter. The Baxter, the dance of the year. Ho, oh, oh, ho, we're doing the Baxter. Yeah, yeah, we're getting in here. Ho, oh, oh, ho, we're doing the Baxter. The Baxter, the dance of the year. Terrific, friends. Now, isn't that worth a double contribution? Dig into your hearts, dig into your minds, dig into your piggy banks, and let's keep that money rolling in. Oh, thank you all. You were just splendid. <clears throat> this is Knock Knock speaking for the great Space Coaster Mercy for Music Telethon, signing off for now. Are we off? We're off! We're off! Okay! okay. We're off. Hey, oh, that, that was, was wonderful. fun! That yes, was wonderful! Oh, really? Terrific, really? Knock Knock! Knock Knock's going oh, so man, nice! the least I could do! Oh, really? Knock Knock, how do we do in the money yeah. department? Oh, yeah, that's the most important thing of all. That's how did we do, Gary Gnu? Mm -hmm. Gary, Gary, how did we do? With what, Knock Knock? With what? Yeah. With the money people pledged on the phone! What people? What do you mean, what people? I mean, who were you talking to on the phone? My girlfriend! Your girlfriend! Yeah, you, 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 you didn't take any calls from people offering money? Knock, knock, good nobody called! No? Nobody? nobody not, not, not a soul? Not a single soul! Knock, knock, what number did you tell people to call? <laughs> number? Yeah, what number did you tell people to call if they wanted to contribute money to the music fund? Uh-oh. Oh, uh -oh. No. oh, Did you forget to give them the number? Well, I can't think of everything. <laughs> oh, dear. Hey, I got an idea, Roy. What's your idea, Garrido? Let's see a movie. I got a better idea. Oh, yeah? What's your better idea? Let's see a movie about ideas. Oh, I got a better idea than that. What's that? Let's see it now. Good idea. Okay. Watch. <laughs> what good is an idea if you can't see it? Foolish question? To you, perhaps, but not to this fellow. He is about to have an idea. Ah, there it is now. Looks like a fairly bright idea, too. As well, it should be, for as you can see, it's a light bulb. You're probably wondering what's so great about that, aren't you? 
Well, watch closely and maybe you'll find out. This is the little town of Idium. It sits at the base of a tall mountain. All the people in the town had ideas just like the fellow we just saw. They all had ideas, and all the ideas they had produced light bulbs. Some people had big ideas, and some had small ones. It was considered delightful to think and have a big, bright idea, and everyone in Idiom did his best to be delightful. But it could also be hazardous. It was thought best to have a big idea off somewhere by yourself. Odd though it may seem, the light bulb form of idea did have its functional aspects. Here's an example of how a big idea, had at the right time, can be very helpful. On the other hand, nothing attracted fireflies so well as a small idea, a boon to the collector. But for all of this, people in idiom concerned themselves mostly with trying to outdo one another. It was a game. Things went along this way for many years. Eventually, though, people grew weary of the game. They reasoned, and correctly so, that a light bulb is, after all, just a light bulb, no matter how big or how little it is. It was this realization that laid the groundwork for the trouble that followed. Do you recall that tall mountain next to the town? Well, upon its very top lived a man named John. He lived alone and never left the mountain top. Consequently, the townsfolk knew little or nothing about him. John also spent most of his time having ideas, but they were strange and not at all like light bulbs. Each day, John had dozens of these strange and flamboyant ideas. It seemed that there was no limit to the wondrous forms they could take. In spite of this, John was not happy. He wasn't satisfied with his accomplishments. Something was missing. So John spent many months trying to think what it could be. Then, one day, it hit him. Of course, he lacked recognition. John decided to go down into Idiom and show off his wonderful ideas. Hey, stop! What's the big idea? Well, we may find out in the second part of the film. Stay tuned for more big ideas. Time out! The Great Space Coaster will return after these messages. Hey, kids, guess who's back in town? The Easter Bunny. That's right, it's me, the Easter Bunny. And I want to hear from you. Call me now and learn how to make your very own Easter bonnet. And I'll tell you my secret for making beautiful colored Easter eggs. You'll meet all my favorite forest friends. We're having a party. What fun. So join us. Dial 1-900-650-KIDS. Kids, check with your parents before calling. One dollar charge for the first minute, 35 cents each additional minute. Now, brilliant nail colors for today's new fashions. Leave press-on nails in 18 deep, rich, dimensional colors. Cotton candy. Sample. Opal mist. Mysterious. Leave press-on nails. 18 great nail colors you just press on with undreamed of ease. Desert mold. Love that. Fiesta. Lively. Sugar plum. Luscious. 40 Lee adhesive tabs and 20 Lee press-on nails for a perfect fit. Leave press-on nails. 18 sensational fashion colors. Press on. Explore Lexington Plaza, where you'll discover the everyday to the exotic. Explore 30 shops and restaurants at Lexington Plaza. 
Lexington Plaza, located one mile south of Highway 36 at Lexington and Larpenter in Roseville. I'm in. Now back to the program. <laughs> well, what do we have here? May I come in? Why not? We've had a double dose of bad news already. Oh. A little more won't hurt. <laughs> I saw your telethon and wanted very much to contribute a little something, but uh, there was no number to call. Oh, yes. Oh, go ahead, hi-hat. Rub it in. Oh, but I know how you can get the money you need for your new musical instruments. Oh, yeah? How? Well, I have composed a little song that I would love to perform with your group. You? You wrote a song? Oh, why, yes, Baxter. It's a simple little song full of love and tender feelings. Gee, I don't believe it. Yes, and if, and if you'll perform the song, then I <clears throat> will give you the money you need for your musical instruments. Well, um, nice what have we got to lose? We'll look it over, M.T. Very good. Enjoy it. Oh. Oh. All right, All we'll right. do it. Oh, wonderful, uh, wonderful, wonderful. Work. wonderful. <laughs> uh, knock, knock. Would you introduce me, please? <clears throat> oh, of course, M.T., of course. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. M.T. Promises will now sing a new song he wrote all by himself called, <laughs> of all things, M.T. Promises! <laughs> <laughs> well, now in the center, ring me. I'm handsome, I'm gorgeous, I'm strong. Ganu. And no Ganoos is good Ganu show. The only TV Ganoos program guaranteed to contain no Ganoos whatsoever. So, we'll skip the top story today. In fact, let's skip the bottom story too and go right to the weather. <laughs> no! I said let's start with the weather! Weather, not Feathers? Oh, weather, you guys! <laughs> A weather report for the entire country is hazy and hazardous smoke-filled skies will clear, smoke will disappear. Let's go to the film.
I see that. An angry mob. That looks like a nasty news to me. Get rid of it. Ah, a happy crowd. Very nice. Ah, well, tune in next time for Gary Ganu. You might get weather. You might get sports. You might get movies. You might get shorts. But always remember, no Ganus is good Ganus. And no smoking is good Ganus, too. With Gary Ganu. Ah. Well, what did you think about MT's song? MT? Yeah, MT. Yeah, just missed. What do you mean, just missed? Well, you know, Roy, it's like some of the songs I wrote when I was just starting out. Uh -huh. Near misses. Could have been hits, but they just missed somehow. <laughs> well, like what, not, not? Well, once, Danny, I wrote a song called Green Christmas. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> and then I wrote a song called Randy the Green Nosed Reindeer. Oh, man, that was close. <laughs> it could have been a hit. Yeah, mm. close, but no cigar. Well, you can't win them all. Oh, I couldn't even win one. Oh. I once invented a new soda pop. Did it go over? No, I had trouble with the name again. Well, <laughs> what was it called, Knock Knock? I mean, I mean the soda pop. You ready? Yeah. Six up. Oh, <laughs> six up. <laughs> No, no, no. no, you keep trying. <laughs> Time out. The great space coaster will return after these messages. It's the USA Network Kids Club, brought to you by your friends at USA. Charcoal's in here! And watch out, here are a couple of April Fool's Truggles. These were sent in by Jamie Lee Casayas of Decatur, Illinois. Where does a monster go if he doesn't want to die? To the living room! How do you make an elephant float? A scoop of chocolate elephant and some root beer. What do you call two pigs who pick a fight with a killer shark? Sausage! And Evan Shelley of Mesa, Arizona sent this joke in. Hey Fido, what's on top of your doghouse? Roof! Thanks, Jamie and Evan. We'll send you both an official Kids Club Crazy Kazoo. Throw a wild chorgle today and be a wacko USA kid. Dunkin' means yo-yo. If it isn't a Dunkin', it isn't a yo-yo. Here's Gus Samara, famous Dunkin' champion for over 50 years. Some of the yo-yos you can use are the Imperial, the world's best seller. The Butterfly, to make the string tricks easier. The Glow Imperial, it glows in the dark. And the Jewel, the yo-yo with a pretty jewel in the side. All tricks begin with the spinner. Throw it off the back of your hand. And look for Dunkin' Yo-Yos wherever toys are sold. Well, hey, there you are! Commander USA here. Hey, it's springtime, a period of rejuvenation. I guarantee that my groovy movies will make you look and feel great. Whoa, well, okay, but my groovy movies are guaranteed to help you make new friends. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, wow! Oh, oh! oh. Ah. Groovy movies are even better than living in a cave. <laughs> Raise your spirits. Join the commander for his groovy movies tomorrow. Time in. Now back to the program. Hey! I got an idea, Roy. Let's see the second part of the movie. Hey, you stole my idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, great minds think alike. Watch this movie. Okay. He walked into the town square and called all the people together. Without hesitation, he produced an idea. Nothing too fancy, just enough to let people know that his ideas were different. At first there was amazement, then panic. One after another, John's ideas flopped and wiggled through the air. Townsfolk ran every which way to avoid them. Some got away and some didn't. Those that didn't and were hit with one of John's ideas discovered how wonderful they really were. It didn't take the townsfolk long to realize that John's ideas were much more interesting than the old light bulb variety. And they tried to have ideas like them. They tried and tried 
and tried. It just couldn't be done. Not even the best minds among them could produce more than plain old light bulbs. So it shouldn't come as a surprise to you that thievery began almost at once. John would no sooner have an idea than someone would leap out and steal part of it. No one ever seemed able to steal a whole idea. They were just too heavy and hard to manage. Half an idea was of no use to John. Half an idea was of no use to anybody. So, incomplete ideas began to clutter up the landscape. Of course, there were some people who would try to put two halves of different ideas together. It didn't work. Others decided that they would build wonderful ideas out of old junk. It wasn't the same somehow, but people were hooked. The game was on. Months passed, and the madness of trying to outdo one another by building wonderful ideas continued. The mess was awful. Light bulbs had been forgotten. One day, as John lay watching it all, he had an idea. It was nothing fancy, mind you, just a small light bulb. But for John, it was something new. He went right down to show everyone what he had done. People were amazed. Why hadn't they thought of that? It's what people always say, no matter what. At any rate, it took some time, but people did manage to get back to basic light bulbs, big ones and little ones. The same old problems arose, but in spite of them, people were convinced that light bulbs were best after all. Much better than John's large, flamboyant, wiggly ideas. John could see their point, but he wasn't entirely sure they were right. So he decided to go back to his mountaintop and give the whole matter some thought. This he did. And to this very day, the people in Idiom are never sure when some vast new idea of John's might come rumbling down the mountainside and engulf them. It does give them something to think about, though, and that, as I previously pointed out, is Idiom's delight. Knock, knock. Oh, who's there, I'm sorry to say. Heidi. Heidi who? Heidi, 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 ho! Oh. <laughs> Brother, that's terrible. Oh, what's the matter, monkey face? Did you get up on the wrong side of the cage this morning? Well, I'm sorry. You know, I, I got to entertain Edison's party next week, and I don't know what to do. Hey, maybe I could do some jokes. Hey, why not? You yeah. got to start sometime. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Snappy, come back there. <laughs> did, you, did you hear the one about the guy who bought snow tires for his car, by, but but they, they melted it before he got home? You made that up yourself. Yeah. You should be encouraged. Oh, thank you, Nana. You should go to Hollywood. You think so? You should climb the highest mountain and jump off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Such an obedient boy. <laughs> Get on board on the Great Space Coaster. We'll explore a comic ride, a fantasy, to a place where dreams fly fast and free. With new friends and new things to see. Coming up, Chuck Barris and his panel of pranksters show what they really think of new talent on The Gong Show, next on USA. We go. Get on board, step inside. Yeah.